Today's episode, Basic Photoshop Manipulation for Beginners. If you learn something new, please hit the like button. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to get notified in our next video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. In this episode, here are the pictures that we are going to use. Now we open Photoshop. Just going to drag the pictures. Now we are going to change the background of this picture. First, we have to duplicate the original picture. Just drag it like this. Hide the original. So that if you want to come back later, you can come back to check. There's a lot of ways in changing the background to photo. You can use different tools like lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool, but for now, we're going to use the pen tool. Make sure you place it properly. After tracing, just right click and select make selection. So we want to put the feather. The feather is used to smooth or blur the edges of the picture. Just keep it zero. You can see the picture is already traced. We're going to remove the background. And to do that, go to select inverse and press the delete button. Select and deselect. Make sure you clean everything. Right click. And Now we're going to take the background. And this one is good. We're going to check this one. I think 
Okay, our image is done. Look in the layers. All you have to do is to drag the background under the picture so that the picture will be visible. We're going to make the background a little bit bigger so that it will become realistic. So we can to clean that by using magic wand. Just click, select, right click, select feather, brush, three. Just click the delete button. Select, deselect. Inside out. Click. Side In Photoshop, when you are editing, keep an eye on this layer section. Because in this section, here you can manipulate, you can do everything that you want to do. Be present in which one is not. Changing the background. Or you can even duplicate your subject like this photo manipulation duplicating the subject make this one bigger Drag it down. Go to opacity. I think this one is good. Then erase the remaining down to that. As you can see, you can do a lot of art in Photoshop. Just visualize whatever you want to do in your picture. So we're going to clean this a little bit using the eraser tool. 